John. So back in the day, you know, I remember old time games when the Mets played. And I think one of the ones I remember vividly, I think you were probably there, was Casey Stengel's birthday. And there was a whole big ceremony for Casey before the game. When you were a player, do you remember any of the old timers days and any vivid memories of them? Not any vivid memories really, but a lot of vague ones. It was sort of a fun day to see all the old timers come through the dugout, be in the dugout, uh, meet a lot of them. But I can't tell you that there was anything vivid that stood out about it. And I really don't remember Casey's birthday, sorry. <laughs> Do you remember any particular player that, like, when he was in that dugout, like you said? Well, I can't tell you. It was just, we would wander through and, and say hi and then go back to getting ready for our game and let them do their thing. You take a look at the way this new ownership has embraced the history of the Mets. You know, retired, taking the name as a number, having a ceremony for the 69 Mets last year. What does it mean, you know, when you're a player from a franchise, when they really embrace and celebrate the history of the franchise and invite you back to days like this? It's very special. There's no question about it. And especially to see so many generations represented. Um, I think it's a step in the right direction. Um, Glad to see him doing it, and it's a very enjoyable day. Have you got an opportunity to watch this current Met team at all? And is there anything about this team that reminds you of that 73 team? Well, I, I don't know that there's anything that's comparable other than that it's a very good ball club that knows how to win ball games. Uh, they probably win more games than we did. Um, I think they have already. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, it's, it's a team that knows how to win. And they never give up, seems like. And, and I do watch them a little bit. I live quite a ways away, but I check them out on the computer every morning and see what has happened. And lastly, I know you were a pitching coach in Valley recently. There's so much technology now available to pitchers as far as spin rate and in different ways that they can try and improve their spin rate on curveballs and, and all the different data for batters. What do you think your career might have been like if you were born 10, 20 years later, 30 years later, and were able to play in this generation of baseball? Do you think uh, you'd be a better pitcher, same pitcher, or worse? I would be a thoroughly confused pitcher. I probably wouldn't know what to do with all that information. Our generation learned through doing and experience and applied from our mistakes something different to a similar situation to see if we couldn't overcome it. And that's the way we got by. This generation is given all that information and they get to pick and choose what's going to work for them. Um, they still have to execute. And I think a certain amount of human element is lost due to that, but it's certainly valuable information.